In a previous video I did, demoing the Knights Tour search using Office Script, I encountered a timeout error. Let us in this video have a look at that issue in more detail. In the associated flow, it timed out after 40 minutes. In the following Microsoft Help document called Platform Limits and Requirements with Office Scripts, it mentions about data limits and long running scripts and the 120 second timeout for synchronous Power Automate operations. That link in that document takes you to limits and configuration in Power Automate, where it states for outbound synchronous requests, the limit is 120 seconds. In the following screenshot, you can see the Office Scripts action for my flow does indeed reach this 120 second limit. See the red box? And also note the eight retries occurred message, colored yellow. In Microsoft documentation, limits and configuration in Power Automate, in the section entitled retry policy, there you'll see that in my case, the eight retries occurred because my Power Platform licensing is rated as medium or high performance. The retry pattern was exponential increasing intervals. And so this is why it led to a 40 minute duration for that one Office Scripts action. For Office Scripts, the reliability of that HTTP service is around 99.9% .9 and higher in various regions across the world. Office Scripts is a Microsoft provided HTTP service and matches uptime reliability scores of other services, including Azure. So very rarely will you find a retry actually being necessary. But to capture that 0.1% or less occurrence of failure, you can add one retry. So in order to prevent unnecessary retries occurring in our flow, what do we do? So here we are in the flow. Um, with the script set as uh, find a night's tour. Now, if we go into the settings for the script action, uh, like so, and then if we go to retry policy, we can see that it's currently set as default. Um, now, that is the default. Um, when you automate, when you enter uh, or create a new run script stack action, now you can change that um, to fixed interval, exponential, or none. So if I set that as none, what this is going to do is instead of running eight times, it will run only once. So it'll only retry no times, none. So let's see that in action. So if we run the flow, it'll take up to two minutes. So it's returned an error. Let's have a look about gateway, which is the 504 error and we can see here and you can see that there's no retries here at all it's run only once so how do we set the action to have only one retry so here we are back in the flow um, in the action in this case the run script we go to settings and then in retry policy, I've set it to fixed interval with count of one, so that is one retry. And then the time interval I've set as five seconds, so that's five seconds between the first uh, attempt and then the first retry. So if I cancel out of that, save, and then if we test the flow, And we can see that um, 
we've got another error um, because the script is running uh, for longer than the flow um, can cope with. So let's have a look in the action for run script. And we can see that we have indeed got one retry with a 504 return error. So this explains why our script was attempting so many retries and the 40 minute duration. But how do we mitigate or prevent that error from occurring in the first place? Let's go back to the script. I removed the outer loop from the office script as shown in this screenshot. I also added a return value. Each time the script runs, it does a check to see if a complete tour was found. It returns a string value of congratulations if successful. Now that return value will be used in the flow. I rewrote the associated flow using the do until action as shown here. You can see I am capturing or making use of the script return value to check if success was returned or not. In the advanced settings, I've set it to loop 1600 times before moving on to the next action in the flow. However, there is a problem. When using Office scripts with Power Automate, each user is limited to 1600 calls to the run script action per day. This limit resets at 12 midnight. We want to run a script that just keeps going until it finds a night's tour. We are only allowed 1600 calls to our script in Power Automate. So yes, the flow will run with no errors, but we are unlikely to solve the mathematical problem that is the night's tour with only 1600 attempts. So what do we do? Well, in terms of Power Automate online, that's as far as we can go. There's nothing more we can do using the actions available there. But there are still two options open to us. The first is to manually click the script button in the Excel file as displayed in your browser. The script will run for as long as your browser is open. However, you first need to change the browser settings to disable sleeping tabs. Your machine must also remain on. Chrome has a two hour limit, which can be switched off to. The second option is to open the Excel file in Excel desktop and then manually click the script button in the worksheet. The script will continue to run for as long as your workbook is open. For this latter option, you can use Power Automate online and desktop apps to automate the process. Power Automate Desktop cannot automate the opening of a browser and clicking the scripts button. And there is no JavaScript function to start an Office script at this time. Power Automate Desktop can be run in unattended mode and you can also use a virtual machine this way. So let's have a look at this second option in more detail. So here we are in Power Automate Desktop I've created a flow called start an OS with Excel desktop. So that's start an office script. Let's see it in operation. And we can see the Office script has been started. And finally, let's add this desktop flow to a cloud flow to fully automate the running of an Office script. Here is a cloud flow. The trigger is a recurrence. Um, the single action is a desktop flow. Uh, we can see the name of the desktop flow there um, is to run the script in Excel desktop. I've set it to run in attended mode. You can make that unattended if you wish. So let's test the flow and see what happens. Check out my business website too.